Hey, Seth from Coming Out Tarot. Uh, in my tarot class over on Patreon, one of the questions that I got asked is, uh, how can tarot help me in my everyday life? And that was one of the reasons that this person had signed up for class. And uh, while we were getting started and talking about kind of how to get started with tarot or you know what the beginning was and, and where to even begin, this was one of their their main questions and why they joined class. So how can tarot help you in your everyday life? Easy. Uh, it, it's there for every question you ever have. It's there for every large life decision you're trying to make. It's there for every relationship experience that you're trying to understand or um, have a deeper understanding of. It's there for the moments in your life where you feel a little bit lost and you're quite sure where you're going or how you want to move forward. Um, it's there for exploring the shadow of all the things. Um, it, tarot is a part of your everyday life, even though you may not realize it. For example, um, tarot shows up when I look around the world around me. Uh, there's a tarot card in, uh, it's not the deck that I have in front of me right now, but uh, in the Wild Unknown, the Emperor tarot card is represented by a, a huge tree. Like, looks um, looks like a conifer, maybe an evergreen. It's it's in the, the perspective of the card. It looks gigantic. Uh, and it is, you know, arrow-shaped, triangular, I guess. And the, the dominance of that tree is powerful. And as I'm looking around the world around me, I was sitting in a park one day and there was a huge tree in front of me that was very much the emperor. So one way tarot shows up in your everyday is in the symbols that exist within the card and in the world that is around you. You can, you can see the tarot in the world around you, not just in the simplistic version that I gave you of the tree to the tree, but uh, in some of the ideals that exist or the, the symbology that exists within these tarot cards, you can see them around. Like, like in this Ace of Cups, you can see this in church, either on the wall or you can see it um, in the act of taking the wafer and then taking the drink. At, when I was in New Orleans this past week, December 2022, this card was outside the pool. It was on the wall outside the pool. So you can, you can literally see it. You can experience it in ways that are uh, like in a service or in a day-to-day -day expression of a spiritual offering. Um, but you can, you can also see them in nature around you. I saw a, a card in a shadow <laughs> on, the, on the ground. Uh, but then the, the minors also exist in that day-to-day. -day. So the minors, as opposed to the majors, are about our everyday experiences. So when you see the minors, like this Eight of Cups, this is walking away from the thing that no longer serves you. It is having the courage to step away and say, nope, that's not me. This is the moment where I told a family member that they were not welcome to stay with me because they needed to address their own uh, issues that I could not be a part of anymore. And I shut the door in their face on a rainy night. It was awful, horrible. Uh, this is the emotional equivalent of that in art. It is the, the walk away. Sometimes it, and sometimes it's the, that's the day-to-day -day of leaving the relationship that no longer serves you or that you have the courage to step away from when you're being abused. Uh, that is, these cards are in our everyday. You, uh, the experience is being with them, sitting with them, and exploring how it shows up for you. So yes, the cards are in our everyday. It just takes a little time to recognize that it's there sometimes.